Hello Wastelanders, today we are going to be doing a review on the Pepper Shaker. This is a heavy weapon that is half shotgun, half minigun. Uh, it is incredible for one purpose only, although it still is a very strong weapon. This thing is an absolute monster uh, for crippling targets. And I'll, I'll show you how to cripple targets and why it really fits the bill whenever it comes to that because no other weapon can do what it does. Uh, it it kind of rivals the minigun as far as charge up speed. Uh, it having the actual spread though is where it kind of has the downfall. If you're trying to take a ranged target, uh, the best option is for the actual shotgun mod. Use shotgun ammo. I wouldn't recommend the plasma or the fusion just because the ballistics for the shotgun ammo has a longer range and it's better for taking out long distance targets or crippling them from a distance. The roll I have is a bloodied limb damage. This is the peak roll that you could get for my build specifically because I'm bloodied unyielding. If I were to recommend any others, it would probably be quad limb damage, 90% uh, reduced weight just because, you know, this thing is heavy. Uh, Anti-armor would be good, but this thing has a 50 round capacity magazine, so it's pretty tough. These are the perk cards you're going to need to have equipped with it because this is the the most benefit you'll get from crippling targets and the actual spread of the shotgun. Uh, it's unrivaled. Again, it, this thing is incredible. It has no problem burning through any robots. It just tears the armor off. The only other issue that it does have though is whenever you're taking down human targets, it will not cripple them and it usually kills them before it cripples them. Uh, it, it just takes out their limbs too quickly or they don't get crippled at all. I think it might be a bug, I don't know. But this thing is a monster. Other humanoid targets like uh, ghouls and trogs, it usually kills them. Again, it just melts them before it's crippled but if they are a legendary or something you can end up crippling them and preventing them to, from getting to you or your teammates or you can just halt them in their spot if they're legendary and you know make sure everybody gets around the target before you kill them it's also extremely powerful against robots again if you cripple all of the extremities of any robot they will self-destruct or they will just catch fire and explode uh it's extremely powerful against robots and I would say this thing would be perfect for uh, running encrypted or trying to you know launch a nuke. The other thing about this gun is it cripples most cryptids and you never see the Grafton monster or Snallygasters or the Mothman or any cryptids at all get crippled because usually by the time you're able to cripple an, an enemy like that they're probably dead because Anybody that's using Commando doesn't have, you know, double the limb damage or something in order to keep them still. And especially the spread on this thing allows every limb to be crippled and it just melts them. And you can also just make enemies stationary while you're just melting them. The only cryptids it doesn't work on is, of course, the Algua and a couple of others, but I don't think it works on the Blue Devil, which is sad. This is where the superpower is you're a heavy gunner and you run nukes, it cripples the Scorch Beast Queen and any Scorch Beast. And the reason why I say use the shotgun magazine is because it actually reaches out and grabs Scorch Beasts and cripples their limbs and you want to aim for their wings and their legs so they'll land. And this works on the Queen too and it's incredible. The only part it doesn't really excel in is horde events and events like Radiation Rumble and Eviction Notice, it kind of falls short because fire starters can be crippled and it does have a 50 round magazine. Now if you have quad limb damage, then you're set. You're made in the shade and that thing's made for crippling. But again, maybe if you had a two shot limb damage, that would be incredible for mainly the queen. Uh, and that would probably double your cripple capacity. And uh, we know we like crippling with this gun. And I've noticed with a lot of weapons, they have an automatic reload. 
for some reason the pepper shaker doesn't automatically reload and sometimes I have to press X twice in order to actually reload and it's very odd and slows down the process of being able to cripple as many enemies because look I mean as it's showing I, I, I can't get the targets that are reaching uh, the people that are on consoles you know and it's you know that's just one one of its drawbacks I'm sure it would excel if it had a uh, quad limb damage roll, but I mean, it's it's dealing a lot of damage as it is, and especially against Scorch Beast, it, it tears through them, and robots especially. Uh, if if you haven't noticed, every one of the enemies is on the ground, and they're completely helpless. And uh, that's really where this thing is prime, because if you are able to skillfully take down, you know, the limbs of targets you can slow them down and also tag them for other people to kill them and it's very very helpful in events is this going to be on the murder the only thing i can really recommend for the secondary uh star on this weapon is limb damage uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that faster fire rate could help this thing, or even if I have two perk cards that, you know, mitigate the amount of what's lost in limb damage for crippling a target, I wouldn't say that faster fire rate would be worth it either, because, I mean, it's a minigun, and, and plus it's got a lot of projectiles, so if, if I were to say anything, if you wanted to make that sacrifice, I would say make it a two-shot limb damage. It's a monster, uh, and again, the only thing that holds it back is the charge up time and the amount in the magazine. Another thing is, I didn't ever see these animations until I was like level 300, so this is something you never really see, is a crippled deathclaw. I mean, it's helpless. Uh, it's it's crazy. And you gotta think, the, the most feared predator in all the wasteland, and it's helpless. I mean, look at it. In comparison to the new Vegas deathclaws, he's, he's a little baby. Shout out to all my blood builds who spec nothing into poison resistance. When it comes to ammo, all you're really going to need is plastic and some steel and lead, which, you know, steel and lead from weights and then plastic from uh, plates, dinner plates and stuff at the Watoga High School, which is the best place to find it. And these Mylarks have been crippled the entire time while I've been fighting that queen, so I don't know how that's possible, but usually that doesn't happen. Usually they heal their limbs and chase me. The recommendation score for this weapon is probably going to be 85% because anybody that runs nukes or needs to slow enemies down it's definitely better than any minigun or anything that is as far as a multi-tool goes Defending life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. if you're looking for one the plan drops from meat week if somebody already owns the plan they can drop one for you or sell it in their vendor and most of the plans are from the same source so Ask around, see if people have the plan, see if people will mod it for you. It's an incredible weapon.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully I could help anybody that had any questions about the weapon. If you have any more, leave them in the comments. And I will see you in the wasteland. Michael, don't leave me here. <coughs> Michael, my dog. Yeah, you already know I'm obsessed with it. <clears throat> I can't get enough. Back with another milk. Help! Help! Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. It's later 